I, I uh, <clears throat> it's good. It's good to, to play a game. Um, I, I can't lie. It's like you kind of pinch yourself when you walk out there, see that kind of environment. It's a, a dream as a coach, dream as a player to be in an environment like that. If it's really like that every night in here, it's going to be a heck of a run. It's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, so that was really special to experience, you know, what I've heard about and, and what I honestly it exceeded all expectations. Just for an opening night game and non-league play, I was blown away with the support, with the atmosphere. It's uh, that, that was a heck of a rush. I'm really proud of our kids. Transition is really tough. Um, trying to put a new system in defensively, trying to put a new system in offensively. Um, a bunch of guys that have never played together. Um, it, it, it can be very difficult, and it's not been totally linear. We've had some tough days in the preseason trying to get things going, but I thought they came and out and played together. I thought they played with great effort, um, and I thought they had fun. I, I saw joy out there playing the game of basketball, and that part was really cool. I think those are things that we can build on moving forward. A uh, couple, couple guys, I mean, you know, Hard, it's hard to single out guys and I'll let you guys ask some questions here in a second. But the first thing I want to say is Mike Saunders has been terrific since the day that we started back in the summer. He's been an everyday guy. He's continually improved, and he deserves to start as much as anybody on my team. And I went and met with him yesterday. We had lunch together. And I said, Mike, you've earned it. You deserve to start. But I think it'd be best for our team if you came off the bench. And before I could even finish the statement, he laughed. And he said, Coach, I trust you, and I'll do whatever you think is best for the team. And it was real, real and genuine. It brought tears to my eyes. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that makes coaching special. That's what makes being on team special. And that's the kind of stuff, when I, when I think about tonight's game, that gets me excited about a foundation that we can build here and hope we can build off of tonight. You know, I, I liked how we guarded tonight. You look down and 25% from the field, 26% from three. I thought we fouled them a little bit and lost our discipline at times and put them on the line. I didn't like that we were in the bonus so early in the second half. Um, but I really liked our effort to guard. They're a really good offensive team and they really shoot it. And I thought our ball screen defense to guard pick and pops, our, our guards defeating them our bigs communicating coverages and doing their job and getting back. I thought that was pretty good for the most part. We worked really hard on that the last two days of practice. And then I thought our rim presence was good at times, and I think that's got to be a strength of this team. There's a lot of stuff that we got to work on. I don't think we've arrived, uh, but we're going to enjoy winning because I think that's important for young people. And I like it too, so you try to enjoy it for a couple hours, and then we'll get to the film and see all the things that we got to do about ten times better if we want to have a good year this year. You had a little bit of a slow start offensively, and then Mason Madsen hits a couple threes, and Jeremiah fouls it up with one. How important were those shots just to loosen things up offensively and kind of ease those first night jitters maybe? It felt like it had a lid on it there, didn't it, yeah. to start the game? Um, you know, I, you could tell there were some nerves. And you got to remember, our, our guys, I, I had some, some healthy nerves. I tell our coaching staff, the minute I don't feel that stuff before a game, I will quit because that's what you live for, those moments. But you could tell our guys had some nerves and it felt like there was a lid on it. But I like that we kind of didn't get fr frustrated. We just kept playing. That's maturity. You're going to have segments where you don't have it happen. Um, and it was nice to see it go in. Makes, Mason makes a couple threes. Um, it was interesting offensively. When we played with offensive organization and we played the way that we practice, guys made plays and scored the ball and we were in good position. When we forgot how to play Cincinnati basketball and started playing pickup and stuff, which happened quite a few times tonight, you know, I didn't think we were as good offensively and didn't make quite as many plays and took bad shots and turned the ball over. So I think when we actually had some discipline offensively, good things happened. But we got a long way to go offensively. We do have good offensive players, but we got to get more connected as a group. We talked to you a lot about how this start of the season has come up fast you know, being on a new team and everything. What did today feel like for you? Was it a fast build up to the game? Was it slow? How did you handle leading up to the game? Just the day to day? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, if you get, as a coach, if you gave me another year to practice before a game, I'd take it. 
because I, you know, I just I have a really high standard for how I want us to operate, and there's a lot of stuff that I'd like to have a team prepared for that we haven't even covered. I mean, they dropped into like a match zone, and we, we're over there going, "What are we going to do?" Type of thing, you know. So we got a lot of work to do to get prepared to play games, and that's just part of transition. You can't do it all. We've spent our time, Justin, focusing on the things that I think you want to build a foundation on, kind of how we approach it every day, how we're going to guard, getting in the right places offensively, trying to get kids to play with confidence offensively with who they are as players, and some of the details just we haven't had time to get there. So that's the part as a coach where you're going, man, I want more time. But make no mistake about this. I mean, none. When it gets to game day, I love basketball. I love games. I love to compete. So I'm like a kid again. You know, I mean, it's the best part. You're 38 years old, and you coach college basketball, and you get to feel like a kid every time you play a game. And then you walk out and see that. I'm going, man, I get to do that again Saturday. I can't wait. Can we do it again tomorrow? Like that type of thing. So, I, yeah, I, I had the nerves, the butterflies, and was excited all day. But game day, I have a sequence of how we prepare, you know, what we do, how I prepare for shoot around. And, number of things so I do keep myself busy and focused. This is the first time we got to see who your first five would be, what your rotations would look like. Can you kind of fill us in on what you were thinking and yeah. will we see several different fives here in the first few games? You guys have been funny because every time somebody <laughs> comes to practice they go, who's starting? And I didn't make that decision until yesterday. Okay. Um, I, I think we'll have to, it, it's going to take time, Keith. Sure. We're going to have to We'll take a look at the film. I never make rash judgments after games. I try to get back and look at the film. We'll, we'll grade it tonight. Um, and then we'll, we'll sit there and tinker with it. I'd be surprised if we don't have a solid rotation that's set in stone until January. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if it takes that long because you look down and A.J. McGinnis checks in the game in the last four minutes. He looked pretty good, didn't he? I mean, not defensively, he looked good. We've been trying to blow up a toss all night. He's the first guy that did it. And then he gets, he, he runs the floor, catches one in transition, and shoots one in front of me, and it looked as good as any jump shot I saw tonight. And he wasn't in the rotation tonight. So we got about 12 guys that could play heavy minutes for us this year. It's going to take time to figure out the right combinations and right way to do it. Victor Lockett hasn't played a game in a year and a half. You've hinted at times between interviews and your coaches show that what he's doing in practice has, has opened your eyes. Is this a... Uh, just a continuation of what you've seen from him because he looked really good. It, you, you, he's been even better in practice. You know, he was out for a week with an ankle injury, so he didn't participate in our second scrimmage. Um, he didn't participate in practice the week before that, so he probably only had five or six practices before today. He's had times he looked even better than that. If he continues to work, <coughs> he continues to stay healthy, develop, I think he's going to be a terrific player at Cincinnati. He, you can see tonight he has real ability and real ability to get the ball. Um, you know, skilled, we know that. But, man, like he goes and gets the ball off the board. So what, what happened? Number five. Uh, but we moved up one. Yeah. All right. Well, we got plenty of time to move up one more, so that's good. Jeremiah led the team in uh, scoring, but he also led the team in rebounding. Was that something that you're really trying to get him to hone in on, or was that just him? You know, I, again, I try to be positive after a win because, man, there's tough days in college <coughs> basketball. You better figure out how to enjoy some of the moments, right? But I'm not pleased with our rebounding. I was not <coughs> pleased with it tonight. Um, I thought we were around the ball a lot and didn't secure it. Like, we're going to have to secure the ball. Um, Jeremiah is somebody I've really challenged on the board. He's got to really, really rebound at his position. And you look down with seven defensive rebounds. I like that. One offensive rebounds, I don't like that. And I want him to get three, four, five, and to only have six offensive rebounds as a team. That I don't want to be negative tonight, but that's a that's a real downer for me. I'm not happy with that. We, we got to continue to work to go after the ball and snatch the ball with two hands. You mentioned. Rebounding, talk a little bit about shot blocking. What about like defensive rotations moving to the ball? How did you feel you guys did there? Um, I thought there were some moments it was okay. I didn't like our communication while we were rotating. I thought our effort to rotate was really good. I'll have to look at the film, but didn't have the kind of communication. And sometimes communication can make you one step quicker to the next place. And I thought we could have been a little better. But the effort to move to the ball and rotate, it's a lot better than what it was two weeks ago. It's something we work on a lot in practice. 
and uh, it's, it's got to continue to take some serious steps if we're going to get out and pressure and deny one pass away like, away like we were trying to do tonight. How often does it usually take you to lose your voice? You know, I usually use it, lose it the first week of practice. I got a nice remedy. Um, Shaka Smart's a friend and heard that ginger root tea in Werther's was the trick when I first became a head coach. I know that's what he does, and that usually works within 24 hours. I don't think I've lost it the game before, but I was pretty fired up tonight, and I was trying to talk through some ball screens with our guys, especially in the first half. But it'll be fine tomorrow. You played multiple bigs throughout the game, different, a lot of different combinations of two big guys in there as well. Did you like how that looked? Did you like what you saw from that? Man, I, I, I got a terrific staff, and trying to figure out substitutions and patterns and lineups, guys, it's a, it's a chore. And they were working really hard on that behind me, and we were having conversations throughout the game. You know, that's one of the things we have to figure out is what combinations work together. And, you know, I think with me, it's always going to start which ones work together defensively first, and then we can worry about execution and offense. Um, it, it, I'll have to go back and look at the tape, but I thought when we played big, it didn't look too bad. And I thought we covered pretty well, and I think the more that we can do that, the better team we're going to be faster and be able to compete with the highest level teams in the country. Rebounding didn't go how you wanted it to, as you just said, but do you feel like the bigs protected the paint like you wanted them to be in the first game? With the bigs, I'm sorry? With the, do you feel like the bigs protected the paint how you wanted them to be in the first game? I thought our rim presence was real. I mean, I looked down. I think they have us for six blocks. Did I see that earlier? Yeah. I looked down for six blocks. I mean, I thought Hayden had four himself. So we're going to have to check the stats there and check the tape blocks. It's something that's hard to get right live. Um, but I thought our rim presence was real. I thought we broke down a couple times, and guys did come over and make plays. There are a couple possessions we broke down and didn't rotate, and we'll address that. Um, but I thought our rim presence was real at the rim. I also think like Jeremiah stepping up and taking a big charge, that was a great momentum play. You can have rim presence with positional defense to the ball too, and we got to have both, our shot blocking players, and then we got to have guys like JD step up and put their body on the ball and take charges. Those are some of my favorite plays from tonight. Maybe you already mentioned it, but was there anything you were pleasantly surprised by tonight? Man, that arena. Like that, I mean, it was just fun. You know, like it's supposed to be fun, right? We, we do all this work because it's supposed to be fun. That was really fun. Again, I hope we, I, mean, I can't believe we get to do that again on Saturday. So, and I think our players felt the exact same way. Is that, I mean, they tell you it's going to be like that. You just, you don't believe it. Like you can't, you don't imagine it or, until you're in there and you get to see it. Experience is different, right? Yeah. I was sitting there, and I, I mean, I'm pretty locked in when it comes to the game. And I always felt like whether there's 100 people in the stands, or there's like 50,000 at the Final Four, like I'd like to think we're going to approach it the same way or I'm going to approach it the same way. So I've never gotten too into that. But I asked the staff when they came back uh, in between warm-ups, and I said, is anybody out there tonight? Coach, it's going to be just fine. And I walked out and said, wow, this is real here. So it, make, it makes it for kind of the type of stuff you pinch yourself, and this is why this is such a special job and uh, such a special basketball program. Anything else? All right, welcome to players.